Hey guys, so welcome back to my channel, or welcome if you are new, do not forget to hit that like and subscribe button, and drop me a comment down below on videos you would like to see. In this video, I'm going to be grooming Moon off and giving her a bath so that I can clip her. I have cut my head off here, but I will rectify that right now. Um, so here I am just going to be kind of brushing her off so where she has hair I am going to be using the shedding blade and where she is kind of kind of clipped she has grown back quite a bit I will be using a magic brush which is just a plastic curry comb which is the best thing ever so here I am literally just trying to get all of the mud the dried mud off of her but there is no point of using a, an actual brush because every time I go over her with a brush it is covered within seconds of just hair and it doesn't do anything. So I am also wearing just a kind of concert t-shirt and some jodhpurs that have got like paint and stuff on them just because I'm going to be bathing and clipping. Um, I don't want to wear like my normal jodhpurs. So now that I've kind of got as much of the dry mud off and all the stuff that you can see on her is actually stains um, from like where the mud stains and stuff like that. So I'm just going to hose her all off. I will link a, another video up the top um, explaining a bit more how I kind of give her a jet wash first because it gets a lot of the mud and um, like dirt from underneath her coat out. Um, as you can see it's a completely different color but you do need a quite strong water pressure to do this so I am just going to kind of be a jet washing her she wasn't as um, dirty as the video that I did last year so you, it's a little bit harder to see the dirt coming out just because we've had a very strange year this year so we had snow in February um, and it's not really been very warm so she's had a rug on most of the time um, and then so she hasn't had a rug off a lot of the time to get herself a really dirty so yes it's not as bad as it was last year. So here you can kind of see the dirt coming off of when I'm hosing her down as you can see the brown stuff coming out of her coat which is perfect it just makes it so much easier um, when you start to actually like use soap and bath them because you've got a lot of the dirt out from underneath the coat it is even better if you use um, warm water it does lift up the dirt a lot easier but um, I don't have a hot wash because I am very nervous with them gas um, canister things. Uh, it just makes me nervous so I just don't mess about with stuff like that. Just because I don't like it. So um, it is cold water but if you have hot water it comes out so much easier. So 
so now I am just going to be putting some fairy liquid on her I absolutely love this stuff to bath with um, I have the platinum it is the best the fairy the normal one is not as good so you need to get the platinum I also like the smell of it which is nice um, and yeah I really really like the fairy platinum I have done a video on kind of comparing it to the NAF show off which is another very very good shampoo for horses that's what I used to use and it, it was the best one that I found like horse wise but the fairy platinum is just as good so here I have just got a scrubbing brush so I'm just kind of doing gently where she hasn't got a lot of hair but where she has a lot of hair I'm kind of really like massaging it in to get as much of the dirt out as possible as you can see like I'm really moving her hair about just to get as deep as I can um, so yeah this is just a scrubbing brush and then just gently where she hasn't got hair because obviously we don't want to kind of make her skin sore or anything like that Her head colour did come off over her ear, but Moon's really not bothered about stuff like that, so... And I didn't even realise. So here I have to get up on a step because I really need to scrub her bum because obviously her bum and stuff where she rolls gets the worst. So I just wanted to really scrub that. Don't forget to scrub their feathers as well you want to get as much off as possible because i will be clipping her legs out so here i am just washing a sponge off to just get as much uh, soap off as possible and i'm just kind of doing her teats because she does get like obviously like dirty down there so I do like to give that a clean just because it also helps with the flies not being so bad which luckily the flies wasn't too bad now um, when I filmed this but it's just nice to get that cleaned um, yes so, and she's really good and she lets me do that now so it did take a while for her to let me kind of do that but it's just a little bit at a time and now she's absolutely fine with it because also I do put pseudocrem on them in the summertime because it keeps the flies away from them because they do like to kind of go on there and just a bit under her belly and it does make her bleed so I pop pseudocrem under there so she has kind of have desensitized her to doing stuff like that which is great so here I am just scrubbing the inside of her legs and then I'm going to hose her off she does not like when the water touches her face even if it's just a tiny bit light from the spray. So here she is having a bit of a paddy fit um, because it keeps touching her ears as you can see. So I'm just trying to get the base of her neck but she is not a happy bunny. But I thought I'd leave this in so you can kind of see that it's she is a very good horse but every horse has kind of their limit kind of thing. So what I ended up doing was I um, put the shower uh, kind of thing on the hose so it didn't splash her ears so much. Um, so yeah, so she calms down a lot just so it wasn't as strong and it wasn't as much of a splash. And then I turned it back on to kind of the jet thing and done the rest of her body. And I was kind of massaging all the soap out at the same time. I do find that helps get um, the majority of it out quicker.
and as you can see when she's wet her blue does come out I really do miss her blue she used to have blue on her um, without her being wet but obviously as she's greying out she is getting lighter and lighter so you only really see it now if she's freshly clipped or if she's wet so now I'm just going to be getting the majority of the water off and obviously I have done everything the same on the other side um, but yeah so I'm just going to try and get the most of the water out and then this time when I clipped her I actually clipped her damp and it was the best thing that I have ever done I'm never clipping her dry again like obviously you don't want them dripping wet but you want them kind of like I put a rug on her to dry her off a bit just so her hair was damp but not wet it was the best thing ever so here I am just getting a sponge and doing a little bit of her face and as you can see she's not a huge fan of getting her face cleaned and she's just not so here is the clip I've kind of done an Irish clip again but I've taken out the front legs as I usually do and the back legs um, I do think it's important to clip to what your horse needs like this isn't a normal clip even is her Irish clip they normally have the front legs on and the back legs on and then just have the clip but Moon with her Melanders has to have her front legs off and when she's in work it's her bum and like kind of her thigh area that sweats so I've decided to take that off but because it's getting so cold at night still I didn't want to completely full clip her so I've done that I know it's not a normal clip but it's the best clip for her so thank you guys for watching and I'll see you next time bye guys Hey guys don't forget to like and subscribe and i'll leave some extra videos for you on this side and this side and i'll leave the subscribe button up here hope you enjoyed the video bye guys